So whether it's two hours, you know, just to maybe like sit down and help somebody come up with a little plan or, um, or whether it's 20 hours uh, to do one project for them, or, you know, sometimes people will just hire me to come in and redo their proposals, you know, so that they have something to start with. And uh, they'll, you know, they'll get Claire and I both involved in that. Um, so I, I, I definitely don't want to um, be off-putting to any kind of small firm because. No, no. But what I meant, yeah, I, I get your point. So that's why I meant um, what I, what I was trying to refer to when when I said that there's different levels of engagement, right? Like, you know, it's not the same level of commitment and engagement. A firm that commits ten hours a week versus a firm that only needs two hours a week from you, right? Like, and, and it's, it's just what do you need, right? Um, and you're probably going to find all the things and then as the relation, you know, maybe, and that's also what I mean by ready, set, go. Maybe it's, you know, um, that process of getting ready with Julie Flaherty, maybe, um, you know what, read, read this proposal and give us an, an audit of what you think we should improve. Mm -hmm. And how much would that be, right? And that's one thing. Check our website and tell us what you think, right? Maybe you print it out and say, you know what, and do a new to exceed amount, right? Like what was it be the not to exceed amount to just look at our website and break it down and say, listen, this is wrong. This is this, this is this, this is this. I think you should do all of that stuff, right? Um, and that may be, that may be, that's another level of engagement and that's just it may be the one time thing and it just brings you know a ripple effect that goes along just like this proposal that he wrote um but by listening to you uh this architect that you mentioned now forever he will do it better from there on right so um maybe you check in from time to time how is it going right like how's how's life um because not everybody needs the full package of you know again a small firm doesn't write as many proposals as a bigger firm so you, they probably wouldn't need that much but this is this is really good julie and um it gave me a lot a lot to think about that that project story part it's more and more i feel like architects should be doing that and recording that and and not just the good stories the bad and the ugly too yeah. because those are the ones you learn the most from and like how can you generate lessons learned for other people right and, and subsequently, when when you want to market that and monetize it as a book, the story is already written, photos have already been taken, Julie Flaherty is there, you know, that, that can be turned into other things. And that's, that's why I was concerned when you said you didn't want to write a book. You should probably write a book. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I, 